Hi guys, it's your faculty Ranganathan S. Pen Pontila. I am back again with another uh, series of uh, video where we were discussing important personalities who have impacted Indian history and uh, particularly we are focusing on those people who have been identified in the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav campaign by Government of India. See, Indian history, mein, there are many personalities and many individuals who have contributed substantially for India's growth, India's national movement, and some have motivated others to come down to the mainstream. Now, one of the one of such ladies is uh, Kadambini Ganguly. You would have heard about her being one of the first graduates of Calcutta University who came down to a Congress session and spoke to the people in congress session in fact a year before oxford university talking started talking about uh, women students the university of calcutta had become had begun under uh, accepting female candidates as early as in 1878 kadambini ganguly was one of the first female women graduates who went on to become india's first women physicians practicing physicians proving that what could be accomplished as a working woman, a wife and a mother in the 19th century India. See, at a time when India was at its most conservative conservativeness, Kadambini Ganguly broke the social restrictions and the social taboos. This video is actually a story of Ganguly's challenge to the system and how she was very determined to hold her success and bring herself together onto the platform. Kadamani was born on 18th July 1861. And she was actually born in Bhagalpur, Bihar, to progressive parents. Her father, Kadamani's father, was Brajkishore Basu. In fact, a reformer and himself a practicing Brahmo member. He was the headmaster of a school in Bhagalpur and uh, understood the importance of education to the people. While growing up, it was only natural for Kadambini Ganguly or Kadambini that she would become a trailblazer in pursuit of higher education at a time when most young girls dropped out of school. In fact, Men used to never complete their higher education. Women completing their education was always considered an unacceptable and impossible task. 1882 May, she, along with another lady called Chandramukhi Basu from uh, Dehradun, created history when they secured a bachelor degree from University of Calcutta. They were the first two women graduates, not only in Calcutta or even in India, but actually in the entire British Empire. So you have to understand, there was a graduate in those days, Indian called Anandi Bhai Joshi, but Anandi Bhai graduated from United States of America, not from India. In fact, Kadamini acquired a degree in arts and uh, she eventually decided to pursue medicine applied for admission at the Calcutta Medical College, became a student of the famous Calcutta Medical College. And to her shock, to her dismay, her application was actually rejected or turned down as they did not, I mean, Calcutta University in those days did not have provisions for women. And that was given as the reason to reject her application. However, after being threatened with legal action, that too by some of the Brahmo members. See, Brahmo members were very close to Kadambani and her family because her father himself was a Brahmo member and also principal, well educated in Bhagapur. And uh, after being threatened with legal action, Calcutta University finally agreed to give Kadambani the admission in college. While still studying, she married Dwarkanath Ganguly, who was 39 years old with six children. 
द्वारकानाथ वॉज एट वन टाइम स्कूल हेडमास्टर कि द्वारकानाथ गंगुली वॉज ऑल्सो ए ब्राह्मो मेंबर सी इन दो लव मैरिज दैट टू स्टूडेंट लव एंड दैट टू विथ अ विडोवर इट वॉज ऑब्वियसली अ बिग स्कैंडल अज स्कैम the union between kadambini ganguli and dwarkanath ganguli eventually caused quite a stir in the economies of bombay of calcutta even within the reformist brahmo samaj in fact not even one brahmo samaj member agreed to attend the wedding reception eventually in 1886 kadambini received her graduate of bengal medicine medical college gbmc becoming the first south asian female physician to be trained in western medicine to graduate in south asia within a couple of years she was appointed as a doctor at the lady dufferin women's hospital for a monthly salary of 300 she eventually served in lady dufferin's hospital until her death she had a very thriving very popular private practice as well and her clientele included even members of the nepalese royal family the queen mother of nepal gave her many gifts including a small pony See, you must understand she became a female doctor at a time when all medicine was male dominated so female centric uh, medicine was never really existent it was always the male doctors who used to who used to attend female patients as well kadambini broke that practice kadambini was totally without any deviation committed to her patients she is known to have worked day in day out without any stop relentless in her commitment had this dedication of kadambini obviously was always questioned by the conservative hindu society of those days see Hindu society would have never accepted somebody like Kadambini working so hard morning, evening, and night, single woman, married woman working like this. Not acceptable. That to Calcutta, Bengal of the eighteen nineties. No, no, no. Huge issue. In fact, in eighteen ninety one, Banga Basi, an orthodox Bengali journal, a conservative Bengali journal. called her equivalent of prostitute for working late in the night you can obviously understand what things are how things were going in those days no i mean it was always said that no woman from a respectable family like her would be out in the nights like her working i it's a different story that kadambini had total and complete support from mr ganguli her husband In fact, Kadambini's husband filed a defamation case against Mahesh Chandra Pal for uh, writing such a controversial article. Pal was eventually punished for six months imprisonment and even given a fine of hundred rupees. See, she had many obstacles, guys. I mean, she from childhood. she had faced numerous obstacles getting her from getting admission to completing her education to practicing in private to working in the government hospital every stage of her life was a challenge was a struggle was a fight but kadambini always stood with determination her commitment to her work her commitment to her passion of medicine was unbreakable in 1892 she even went on to become united kingdom went on to united kingdom for further training once she was back she even started to participate in political activity see she herself is coming from brahmo background father was a brahmo samaj member husband was a brahmo samaj member she also began to participate in political and social work along with her husband and uh, eventually In Bengal, Kadambini Ganguly became the foremost flag bearer for women's emancipation or women upliftment. She worked to improve the working rights of women, coal miners, in eastern India. 
See, Kadambini is known to have organized several public gatherings mainly to show her support for freedom movement. Her, her commitment to Congress was huge. It was actually regular. It was fully committed. Ms. Kadambini was fully committed towards Congress. We do not see any deviations or any sort of uh, mismatches in her commitment. She was always there for Congress whenever she needed. She went on to sort of motivate Congress as well. In 1915, when the Calcutta Medical College did not admit female candidates at their medical conference, Kadambini led a public struggle, public protest against such a practice as a result of which the college was in fact forced to revise its policies and invite female candidates even to their conferences. Kadambini passed away on 7th of uh, October 1923 at the age of 61. Sinar history, she will always be remembered as the champion of women's rights. She would always be thanked and we will always be thanking her. We will always remember Kadambini for her unwavering, unquestioned commitment and support to her vision and her aim. Kadambini Gangu. Guys, I've got a very quick update for you. Of an academy. A brand new offer I have. Academy is calling this. I mean, we this offer is now known as the QEP. QEP quality enrichment program. Very simple. Um, suppose now you join an academy subscription. Join an academy plus and you get 25% flat discount of the subscriptions. For example, Aramb batch is start for this new batch called Aramb batch from 30th of March of join Kurla 2024 prelims like though. Suppose you clear prelims. For those who are members of the RMB batch or any of the batches of an academy who cleared prelims 2024, for the next 45 days until mains, you get complete and totally fully paid mains preparation guidance free. Accommodation, study, material, classes, access to faculty, mentors, sub coach complimentary. So, with the batch, you get this quality enrichment program straight away, bilkul free. You can subscribe to these batches with the code Srivanar, S R I V E N R. 25% flat discount to milega hi milega. Upper se aap ki mains ke preparation ka responsibility hamara an academy. And what's the best about an academy is you get the best educators, a team of best educators of India. Complete notes, all classes, you get live and recorded both. You get material, you get quizzes, prelims tests, main tests, even the last mile program, which is the interview guidance program from an academy. Total all subscriptions also now you also get one on one mentorship along with daily answer writing sessions. Aram batch start ho raha hai 30th March 2023. And uh, some of the best unique selling points for this is you get complete preparation guidance, your NCRTs, your core materials, including current affairs. And aapka mains ka preparation Delhi me. Offline center may Amari responsibility. Do not delay, do not miss this offer, guys. This is massive offer. The quality enrichment program will always help you in your mails. Join us, clear your prelims, 
get your mains done by us and you will crack this exam that's it from me today let us meet in the next video we'll be seeing one more personality one more important information for your prelims 2023 this is your faculty ranganathan svn kondala signing off thank you bye bye